do you guys do you think that you guys maintained your rap boys and uh kind of stayed confident throughout the game mainly stayed uh kept your poise throughout uh texas Tech's runs i mean i'd say for the most part yes um really offense poise wasn't the issue tonight it was really defense and um resistant i mean you know coming here coming to texas tech you know they're going to go on runs at points and you know they're going to have a lot of energy and be backed by the crowd but I, i'd say we stayed poised for the most part we did get uh slip up a few times but tonight i think it was about defense and how costly was it to lose diving on bradford for lengthy stretches of both halves it's i mean it's really important i mean every day i mean you notice every time he's on the court he, he has a very like a, a big impact on the game and um we need him to stay on the court and um just as a freshman he, he's just got, got got to learn from it and uh, i think he will and I, I know he will he's gonna bounce back and get even better uh next question to kellis robinette yeah mike when you're playing a physical team like that what would you say you guys need to do a little bit better to avoid fouls and keep them off the line toughness i mean Avoid the fouls. You got to guard, guard one on one. Be tough on on one on one. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna try to pound it in and get, crash the offensive glass, and that's all toughness. And um, boxing out that was a huge thing tonight. Uh, many of us slipped up. I did myself at at points, but uh, toughness. And um, as I said, um, we just got it. We got to we got to learn from it. A lot of it was on defense, but the defense came down to toughness one on one, and uh, boxing out. Um, was tonight a good example of um, <clears throat> just missing some guys? I mean, I, I just kind of wonder, maybe things might have been different if you'd had Antonio Armani or any of those other big guys to help you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, for sure, it would it would look different. But um, at the end of the day, we're we're like we're we're one unit, and um, with, with next man up mentality, you know. So whoever whoever's on the five on the court, we we don't we don't expect any drop offs for, for who's on the court, and. Um, Shoot, we just gotta we we can't use that as an excuse and um we just gotta learn from it. All right, thanks Mike. Appreciate it. Uh next question to Tim Fitzgerald. Hey Mike, um a, a lot of emotion on the floor tonight. Was it is this a lesson for the young guys that you gotta play with emotion but also kind of control it a little bit, or or was it just one of those games that uh, you can't explain what some of the stuff that was called? Yeah, you, you hit it. You hit it uh, right on the nail. Um, Got to be able to play, have have those be hot, like be in this high emotion situation, but control, control them. And um, in these situations, you know, as players, we get hyped up, and sometimes we get overhyped. But um, it's it's just learn. It's learning for them, and um, they did well. They handled it well, I believe. Uh, but we could be even better, but for sure. And um, we, we'll all learn from it and be better. Uh, as a leader of the team, is it good to see guys that are that invested and that ready to battle on the road against a really good team? Yeah, yeah. I got a team full of warriors, team full of wild dogs. So <laughs> sometimes, you know, wild dogs you can't control. You can only do your best as a leader. But um, shoot, I'm, I'm proud of them always. And um, I'm, I'm happy to be going to war, war with them on, in the Big 12. And uh, we're going to learn from it and we're going to get better. Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Uh, the The record doesn't seem much different than last year, but is it a little bit more fun this year? I mean, it looks like you guys are really going out and getting after it. I mean, from a fun standpoint, winning's fun, you know. Yeah, so, I know. So uh, I'd say, not. I mean, it's, it's it's. But we're growing, we're growing, and we're competing down to the last second, uh, which is encouraging. Not necessarily fun, but encouraging, and um. We just, we're just going to keep learning, keep growing. Thanks. Good stuff. Uh, next question of Michael Goins. Yeah, Mike, has Coach Weber been emphasizing to you guys uh, open the defense, getting inside, getting to the basket? You guys only shoot nine free throws tonight, 24 three-pointers. Has he been trying to get you guys to get to the rim a little bit more? Yeah, but it's it's not only that, it's taking what the game gives and taking what each defense gives. And um tonight we saw we sort of knew what, what they were given. They were given 
like a baseline drive. Everybody comes in and I kick out opposite, stuff like that. And um, for the most part on offense, we, we executed it. I mean, a little too many turnovers, uh, a couple careless ones, but we're just going to go back, watch the film, and grow from it. But as I said earlier tonight, I think or just about all on defense. And your, your ball reversals, your ball movement seemed to be pretty crisp early in the game. How did you see that? Yeah, that was uh, – got to credit the coaching. Um, they give us a game plan every game. And um, tonight, we know we knew how they were going to guard, and they prepared us. And um, we, we were prepared on offense. We, we knew it was coming. But uh, then it wasn't enough to get it done. So we got to get better.